first look about you. Welcome to the yeah, fort. It's me. been highly modified. This was all created with the vanilla game rules. We grow our crop up above. I've got my merchants down below. Everything, including a barber and a surgeon. And if I seem kind of rushed, it's because this is my second attempt to do the video. The first one took too long, and I have to speed things up. There's my dog pens. I got several dogs in the facility. Um, dog meat being one of them. If you see a dog fully armored, that's dog meat. I've got lasers protecting my front entrances. Um, some missile launchers up there as well. As you come in, well lit. You're greeted with this central building, which houses a small museum in the upper room and variations of the power armor surrounding the bottom. Yes, I've collected a few pieces of power armor. This facility has 953 suits. This Out of those 953 suits, it's got day, 10 the XO1s. Those are the ones straight all ahead on the ground level there. Well, and one there. under construction over here. Also on ground level. That's my third generator. And we've got sleeping facilities. Kind of a nice place, actually. And as you go around this walled-in area, you come to a second facility with a dog and cat theme. A game of pool if you so desire. Feeding trough for the animals. And then a third sleeping facility. Kind of spartan and modern. But that's just the way some guys are. And then you get the access to the second level here. Let's go ahead and take that. We're coming out at one of the gun turrets. And where we are is right above the entrance there. So we came in right down that well lit area. But you can kind of get an idea of what 953 suits of armor looks like. I'm going to take us up one level here. I'm going to call the elevator down. Before we go on up, this is the observation level. This originally housed the 12 major different, I'm sorry, not 12, 14 different paint schemes that the game allowed. It had more paint schemes, but some were identical in appearance. But now the new mods that have come out have more paint schemes. That used to be an original piece. You can now create that yourself. This used to be original. You can create it yourself. This still is original and unique. The electrically powered Overboss Raider suit. And this one is a Boss 3. Um, the new mods might be allowing you to create this. But right now, as far as I know, 1s and 2s are still all there is. And I could very easily be wrong. Okay. We're going to go up to level 2. This level gives us access to two buildings. This one has all has a pretty good collection of a lot of the costumes, fashions um, that you'll encounter while playing the game. Got an area down there to work on the armor and clothing. Nuka World, got to have the glasses, man, I'll tell you. They set you off. The lobster hat, lobster trap, helmet, digging on that. Once again, I apologize for the hurried tour, but I've got limited time. This is all legendary weapons. It is just a small portion of what I have. I used to have more in here and I used to store oh, the sun's coming up. I used to store a lot more as well as display a lot more but it overwhelmed the facility and the game would be locking up 
and erroring out continuously. So I had to move a lot of it off site so that this location would continue to function. You, even at that, you'll notice that my movements are kind of bouncy, um, a little delayed perhaps, and that's from the memory really being taxed on this game. If we go up to level three, that gives us access to that bridge, takes us out to that scaffolding network that houses a great deal number of armor with room to grow, 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 and I plan to. And if we go up to level four in this elevator, takes us to this walkway, which takes us out to a second elevator, which we will do at the very end here, because there is a diving board right up there. And that's how I plan on leaving. But for now, let's go ahead and go back down to level one. Before it gets too bright, see if I can show you crystals. It's a bar that I created, Bar and Dance Club. There's one way into it right there. Once again, armor everywhere. The walkway is glass, so you can see the ocean tides coming and going underneath. I lit the walkways with lights underneath. A couple of water purifiers for the place. Here's crystals. If you don't have a headache when you go in, you will by the time you leave. This place, lights, 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 and they all like to flash and change and flicker and all kinds of crazy things. The reason that wall is open, I have exceeded the range of my building. So the perimeter for the fort ends right about here. But because these platforms mounted back here, it allowed them. But I could not put a wall up because that would be out of bounds. So from here you can see you get a great view of the old airport, the downtown skyline, the sun coming and going. So Crystals is a cool place. Continuing with the glass floors, the pathways. Oh, there's dog meat. Hey, dog meat, how you doing? Hey! Don't worry, dog meat. Just saying hello. And we'll go ahead and go on upstairs while Kate goes and finds a fight to pick. Crystal Hanger Bar and Dance Club. That's what that was. Okay. While we're here, this section here is all Brotherhood of Steel armor. The silver gray ones are the mod twos, the kind of brown ones are mod ones. And I named that little display the Steel Curtain. So I figured the Brotherhood of Steel and maybe an homage to the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Steel Curtain over there too. There's our buildings in the background. We'll go ahead and cut through here. 953 suits. Each one assembled, painted, moved one at a time, often multiple times. This building right here, you can get to it with a wooden platform, right down over there, is a robot shack. I can send out my recon robot for supplies or build robots that I can then send off to other locations to service and serve them. Here's the front entrance from an overhead view. Uh, let's see. Missed my jump. Oh yeah, down here, okay. We got feeding troughs for the bovine that come in and we got a workout area for my employees a little skee ball weights I don't know if you've ever played with these but it's pretty hilarious a little workout on the pommel horse look at that style look at that form I tell you time to dismount work it work it 
walk it over and down pretty incredible I tell you I amaze myself sometimes and then there's stairs going up to the roof nothing happening up there just access run some circuitry stuff like that so that is you the modified fort 953 suits of armor let me take you one more place and we'll be done with our tour hopefully I did this quick enough this time so that you can see the whole tour we're gonna go up to level four level three gives us access to all the armor out there and level four brings us over to one more elevator these locations have restrictions on how far you can spread out north south east and west it also has a restriction on how high you can build I'm going to go up all the way here. This is the highest point in my fort. Gives a good view of what I've created here. And that's all with the vanilla set. But you notice there's no walkways here. We're too high. I can't build them. Even if we go to level 3, you can't build them. This is the highest level that you can build at. So I put on a diving board. Hope you enjoyed the tour. A lot of scaffolding, a lot of columns used to support my network here. A lot of fun to build. Just allows yourself to become creative. Sure, shooting things in the head and watching them blow up is fun, but being able to create something I think is even better. Hope you enjoyed the tour. My name is Ron. I'm from Colorado. Take care. Bye-bye.